and in this lecture we are going to discuss about the hexagonal crystal structure okay it is also called as hexagonal crystal hexagonal closed pack structure okay because it possesses maximum packing density of atom or we can say constituent particle that means ions molecules or atoms okay so next one is for an ideal hcp structure the packing fraction is 74% we have discussed about the what is meant by packing fraction and how to calculate the packing fraction okay in previous lecture you can see okay each atom in this structure has 12 nearest neighbor so it its coordination number is 12 6 from same unit cell and 6 from adjacent unit cell this is also we have discussed in previous lecture but you can see here in short okay so we we have here three unit cell okay this is the particular one unit cell and if we consider one atom from this face okay and if we see the surrounding of this atom we have six nearest neighbor one two three four five and six okay so this is from same unit cell if we consider adjacent unit cell there are also six nearest neighbor of this particular atom so say six from the same unit cell and six from the adjacent unit cell that means the total number of coordination number is 12 for its hcp structure okay so next one is magnesium zinc cadmium and other some material possesses the same crystal structure like hexagonal closed pack structure or hexagonal crystal structure okay so we can discuss about the the number of atom per unit cell okay we have here formula for the calculation of atom per unit cell you can see here contribution from corner atom plus contribution from basal plane atom plus contribution from the atom inside the body okay simply so we will see first contribution from the corner atom in hexagonal crystal structure we have 12 corners okay so 12 into 1 by 6 why 1 by 6 because each atom from the corner of the part of that atom only 1 by 6 part contribute in the that same unit cell okay so we will see next what is contribution from the basal plane atom we have two basal plane atom here is one and here is second okay so 2 into 1 by 2 because we we have discussed or we have seen about that the atoms at the faces atom at the present at the faces its only half part is contributed in the that unit cell okay so we can simply see here 2 into 1 by 2 plus contribution from the atom inside the body here we can see there are three atom in the prism okay so we can simply write here three this is 2 plus 1 plus 3 that means there are 6 atom per per unit cell okay for the HCP crystal structure okay now we will see the how to construct the hexagonal crystal structure or how to create okay so if we consider this is a layer okay and if we we can see here the vacant side is present okay if we construct the b layer on the vacant side of a layer okay so it look like this and similarly we can construct next layer okay so we will get hexagonal crystal structure okay friends thank you for watching this video